What if I told you you can use two potatoes to power a clock? You might think I'm crazy. However, it doesn't take much forces to power this clock. The way this works, you have two metal strips. One's copper, one's zinc. And the potatoes make a simple battery that creates electricity to operate the clock. Each potato acts as a device called an electromechanical cell. It converts the chemical energy stored in the metal strips into electrical energy. Two potatoes are needed to make the electricity strong enough to wind the clock. So, there's a kit you can buy from Hobby Lobby. It's called the Potato Clock. And I'm going to show you how you can power this clock with two potatoes. I'm going to stick one side of this copper into the potato. And stick the zinc and the other. Now we need a path between the two. And we put the copper on this side of the potato and then zinc next to the copper on the other side. And as you can see, the clock is lit up. That's pretty cool, huh? Science. Now, the cell works because of the chemical properties in the metal inside, which is what these, the copper and the zinc are. And the different properties cause tiny particles charged with electrical called ions to move between the two strips of metal. This flow is called electric current. If you have electric current through these wires, through these electrodes, through the chemical of the potato, it's called, it's charging it up with ions, moving between the copper strips and the zinc. There's enough current here to power this clock. So, not only do potatoes work, anything that's got acid in it, lemons, soda, you can power a simple device with Coca-Cola. This, you can actually change the, the time on it if you wanted. I haven't looked and see if you wanted to change the time on it. So, it, this one in 1201. If you're interested in green science and the potato clock, you can go and buy this online. This kit here is only 10 bucks. Um, you can probably just get a small, simple watch clock. You want two wires out of the bag. You get you a copper strip and a zinc strip. You can cut your wires. And these are not soldered on, they're just loosely put on. And then you can have your own experiment with the potato clock. So, hopefully you've learned something. I think this is a pretty cool deal for kids, even with adults. Learning about electricity and the different S's and how batteries work. So, two potatoes power this clock. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.